As the race for the presidency heats up, so does the tussle for leadership of the ruling or progressives Congress. At the moment, there are no clear favorites on the eventual flag bearer of the party, but the national leader and Southwest political godfather, Bola Tinobu, is considered a front runner. As one of the country's wealthiest businessmen, Tinobu runs a formidable grassroots network across the country with support from several groups. Those groups have now merged into one group intent on getting behind Tinobu's presidential ambition. Well, I have representatives of that support group with me in the studio. Honorable Amenu Suleiman is the Director General of Tinobu Support Organizations. Um, by Frank Eberi Njoku, who is the Senior Special Advisor to the Director General and Spokesperson of the Tinobu Support Organizations. Good to have you, gentlemen. Thank and you, um, I, I will start with you. What, what, what's actually the difference between the Tinobu Support Organization and the Tinobu Support Group? I, I thought the TSO is supposed to be part of the TSG. TSO is the oldest group that started initiating Serenbola Army Tinobu. We have started this in over two years. So that's why TSO is the first leading group that selling Bola Army Tinobu all over the country. People have known me all over. I have done several interviews in the television channels and TVC. I'm even the one that said that if Tinobu refused to go to court, I will take him. If he refused to run, I will take him to court. But I will remember that the TSG, the Tinobu Support Group by Honorable uh, Faleki, has also been in existence uh, for more than two years. So I don't know about uh, that one. With, with the um, uh, measure that all of you had, uh, uh, with all support groups being present, that I thought that uh, you would all have dissolved into one and continued the race from there. We are coming, well, not now, I mean, say truly, because we need to see, you know, people can take just some reason why we are not agreed to join them now, because I will let us see how somebody work first, because I think it's too early for us to join them, because if you join them, nobody knows what you have done so far. So now, we still have more time. Convention is coming. The primaries are coming. So it's too early for TSO. That's why yesterday I did my press conference in Lagos House that we are no part of the support group. We appreciate them. We are happy what they have done that very day. That's why we refuse to go there and join them so that let them see what are we doing first. We need people to know that we have reached this stage before we can join to anybody. So that oh. we all let the people that we need to come and show our work first. We are ready to join them. Now let them see who is going. <laughs> all right, very interesting yes. submission. Yes. And I'll come to you, Frank. Uh, in all of this, uh, don't you think you're creating room for bickering uh, just before uh, the formal declaration by Tinobu himself? Uh, actually, I don't think we are. Because, uh, you know, for a group to come out and say all groups have merged, uh, I didn't see other groups speaking in that particular conference that I am this group and I am that group. A particular individual came and said all group has merged for all groups. He's speaking for all groups. He would have given opportunity for groups to come and present themselves and say, we are this group, we are that group, and now we are merging with this particular yes. group. Have you got an invite from uh, Honorable no, Abdul Mumin? No, we have Nobody. Uh, we uh, have uh, And Honorable Faleke. Nobody. We have Nobody. Nobody. We haven't. This is, this is, this is something but, that but happened. But if you get an invitation, you will be part See, of it. See, we class. are working for somebody, and which is Bola Ahmed Tenibu. That is the agenda. So anybody that is key to that particular project, we will work with you. We have not gotten an invite. Nobody has called us to say, okay, yes. let us work together for our leader, so Bola that, Ahmed. that's to say that when you're given an invite, you eventually... It do. is possible. Even if we give them an invite, to, we will wish for them to come and meet oh, us. All too. right, now let's just go you straight understand. to the major issue, yeah. which is uh, the personality of Bola Tinubu. Mm. I mean, you've seen a lot of Nigerians, both on social media, saying that he doesn't fit the bill because... Of several factors. I mean, they don't want someone who is, seems to be too old. A, a lot of younger Nigerians want someone who is young and energetic. But you had uh, Senator Shitima at that same event actually saying that this is not an Olympics that we are going into, that we should that be looking is. for the strongest man. But a lot of people keep saying that, apart from that, that uh, Tinubu doesn't look like the sort of president that Nigeria needs at this time because he belongs to the past. People, I always said it in my previous interview, you can see as well, he has a young heart. He has been in the Lagos State. Currently, the Lagos State government is a youth. 
and I'm still advising you to come up with Aswaju because he is the right person to fix them on this on this on the, on the level of the way where we are now. And what should APC APC members hand him the presidential ticket? That's what I'm expecting the APC to do because he really worked for the party. Because I could remember the major was formed by his house in Baltimore, Lagos. He is the one that engineering everything. So I'm just appealing the party to consider him giving the ticket because you have done so much for them. All what we're enjoying today in the APC is coming by Bola Hamid Chinubu. So that's okay. why we're always going around to tell them that they should consider Chinubu first before anybody. Okay, so do you think that Chinubu should have a first right of refusal because himself and uh, then General Muhammad Buhari, who is now President Muhammad Buhari, uh, 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 brought together the strong two parties, ACN and CPC, to actually uh, work with two other parties uh, to, to form the APC? Like you said, uh, this is not an Olympic game. This is not an Olympic game. Do you understand? So I believe that uh, the APC, as uh, my leader, President, uh, sorry to say, as my leader, Asewaju Bola Hametinibu has declared his interest to run for the presidency, I think the APC, to give him, they should give him his chance. You understand? This is about leadership. We're looking for capable leaders. We're not, it's not about youth or old or young. It's about a capable leader, someone that can help move Nigeria forward, from where he is right now you and, understand and, and i'm very sure you must have read all the things that younger people like yourself actually exactly say, I that have. he doesn't belong to the future that nigerian youths want to see, see we we, we are, you see in nigeria i believe we are governed by sentimental issues so much because uh, these are some of these sentiments are politically inclined you even understand? in your party the apc a lot of young yeah people a lot of people are, are coming out to say they don't think bola ahmed tinibu is the right person to be the flag bearer. But and uh, what will you do to convince them to change their mind? Because he's the most capable leader right now. He's the most capable candidate so far that I've seen in the APC that is willing to run for this presidency. This is a living icon. This is a living icon that should be appreciated. Yes. You understand? Uh, he's uh, a living icon that should be appreciated because this man can actually decide to just go home and sit down and relax and watch the state of things in Nigeria. But he said, no, I have not done my bid if only I can come out and rescue my country and help my country move forward. Okay, and I come to you. Mm -hmm. The Tunubu support groups have been conversing for him. Uh, they are beginning to get the attention of the uh, APC. As the party prepares for its national convention, February uh, 26, what are the key parameters that you are already setting for the emergence of very strong and courageous national working committee members that will eventually guide the party properly into the national convention that will lead to the emergence of a flag bearer for the presidential that's why we're uh, there everywhere uh, now polls we are consulting people to come together that's how we just uh, inaugurate our we finish our seminar in north central and uh, we do a northeast now we're heading to north central to bring them together preparing for the convention so we are putting everything together so that it will work very well for us what will you say to so many who are saying that a lot of Support groups like yours are actually supporting Tenubu because of his money. No. Uh, that's why I always said it in my program. If people are looking for money, they should not go for Tenubu. Because Tenubu is based on people. He has done so much for people. So it's someone that if you look his own career in Lagos State Governor, if you read the current, that's why I have a privilege being with him. Since the current minister of uh, works and housing, he was two staff. I'm with him up to date. So I'm still repeating it. If I have a, someone that will have a long time relationship with Bola Hamitum, I can be, if I cannot be number one or number three, when he was in governor, I can be number three or number two. Most of his cabinet that I know now, currently the Minister of uh, Health, Mamora, he was a speaker then. So if you look, someone can produce all this kind of caliber of people in Nigeria today. So if we can give a privilege to become a president of the country. I know to reach people that they didn't expect. And don't you think that's why so many people are also afraid of him, that he may become too powerful? If he has not become a president and he's this powerful to the extent of producing a vice president, as we have heard, yes. and uh, a speaker of the House of Representatives and all of don't you think he will become too much uh, or, or too powerful? Let me put people it People don't know who is Bola Hametunubu. If you look at his life career now, I can tell you, presently all this men they have been hearing about Tunubu, you cannot see any building a mansion. He is living a very small palo. Up to now I can still tell you the bedroom that Tunubu was sleeping is twenty five years old bed. The bed that he was living is bedroom. People don't know him much. They are just making many allegations against let you go close to Tunubu's Okay. And and I come to you. Uh, considering Nigeria's fragile political situation, a lot of people are calling for a a, pres a president of uh, Southern and Christian extraction in 2023. Mm. Here we have <coughs> Tinubu, who is um, a presidential aspirant from the South, 
but he is a Muslim. Do you think Nigerians are prepared for another Muslim to actually uh, become president in 2023? Like I said, this is not a case of Muslim or Christian. This is not a case but, of But I mean, these are the dynamics that we're seeing every now and south. then. The dynamics and south are south, southeast. So he fits the dynamics from south. Do you understand? So if Bola Ahmed Tinibu has showed his interest to contest and run for the seat of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I think he should be given his chance and now, should be supported. What are the economic indices that you think Tinubu will help to stretch further for the good of Nigerians if given opportunity to I become think, I president? I think the examples are there in Lagos State because uh, when Tinubu ran Lagos State as the governor of Lagos State, he did so much capacity building and so much economical development in the state. I mean, I would like to hear some of them. Because some of them are out there. They're written out there. You can do the research yourself. You know the stance. You know the stance. And Tinibu would have decided to rule Lagos for more than eight years. It's possible, based on the state Nigeria was. I'm too was afraid then. that he said uh, uh, he said to have had a huge grip on the Lagos economy. It's not about having and grip. It's difficult for others to be able no, to. No, no, it's not about having grip. It's about having grip the state. right way. No, it's not about having grip, my brother. It's about the system working. The system in Lagos works. Lagos is the only place you go and then you see people driving and then they tell you about lice, man. This doing that, this doing that. The toll bridge watching, everywhere working. The uh, system in Lagos work. And this is the system that this man has set. Should, and you should remember that this man, that, the money was, during the, the former previous government, PDP, by General Oleshikon Obasanjo, the money was seized for a swatch of more than four years. Yes. Someone that can run local go, government funds. For local mm -hmm. government funds. Everybody knows everything. He have won Obasanjo in the Supreme Court. Everybody know this one. All right. As we try to round off this conversation, do you think that the North is ready for an actual That's why I'm dizzy. Latinobu presidency? That's why no, what I'm doing, I'm from North, and I'm the brother of North Sweats, I'm from Kebi State, and we appreciate what you have done for Muhammad Buhari, as he said it. That's why I'm going to start with, I'm showing that we already ready for Bola Hametinobu. That's why we organize a birthday clock in Lasta and Kano. By His Excellency, I don't know what All right, so he's been accepted we very well property. as you have been campaigning for him. Yes, he really accepted. Okay, very interesting. So, sorry to, sorry to, to, to tell you, yeah. Very quickly, I would less say, than 30 seconds. Yeah, I would say that uh, everybody, every Nigerian, every leader that likes the interest of Nigeria should key into Bola Ahmed Tinibu's uh, presidential aspiration. Because even the people like the vice president, these are people that clocked out of Tinibu's image. These are people that Tinibu presented to the nation. So if Tinibu is willing to rule and run Nigeria as the president of Nigeria, I think such people will also be in the structure. Uh, uh, they will also be in the structure of this uh, running. All right. So they should kick well, into their leader <laughs> and do the right thing. We will be speaking with uh, thank you very much. Group later mm, on. Well, thank you very much. Spokesperson of the Tinubu Support Organization, Frank Eberi in Joku. Most thank you so much. And Aminu Suleiman, the DG of the Tinubu Support Organization. Thank you. Most thank you for joining us.